Ever pondered how vast the universe truly is? It's a question that has tickled the minds of humans for centuries. From ancient philosophers gazing at the stars to modern astrophysicists peering through powerful telescopes, we've always been captivated by the sheer enormity of the universe. Imagine a canvas, boundless and unending. That's our universe. It's a cosmic expanse so large it's almost incomprehensible. It's not confined by walls or boundaries but rather, it's an ever-expanding entity. Just when you think you've grasped its size it stretches even further like a balloon inflating ceaselessly. The universe isn't just vast, it's also incredibly dynamic, always changing and evolving. Stars are born, and galaxies form, adding more layers to this cosmic tapestry. It's a never-ending cycle of creation and transformation, contributing to the growing enormity of the universe. To put it in perspective, our Earth is but a speck of dust in the grand scheme of things. Even our solar system with all its planets and asteroids is merely a tiny dot in the vast cosmic ocean. Our galaxy, the Milky Way though home to hundreds of billions of stars, is just one among the estimated 2 trillion galaxies that make up the universe. But the universe isn't just about size, it's about time too. The light we see from distant stars and galaxies isn't as it is now, but as it was millions, even billions of years ago. When we look up at the night sky, we're not just looking at space, we're peering back in time. The universe's vastness is a testament to the infinite possibilities of existence. It's a reminder that we're part of something much larger than ourselves, something mysterious and awe-inspiring. So, just how large is our universe? Stick around to discover more. We'll delve deeper into the enormity of the cosmos, comparing it to familiar objects and exploring its size and numbers. We'll talk about the universe in terms of human travel, and finally, sum up its size in a way that might just blow your mind. So let's embark on this cosmic journey together. Imagine if the whole universe were the size of a football field. In this grand cosmic drama we often find ourselves struggling to comprehend the sheer size of our universe. To make this a bit more digestible let's try and shrink it down to something we can wrap our heads around. Let's consider that the whole vast mind-boggling universe is the size of a standard American football field. Now, where do you think our solar system would fit into this picture? Well, if the universe were a football field, our entire solar system with all its planets, asteroids, comets, and the sun would be smaller than a grain of sand, barely visible to the naked eye. That's right, less than a grain of sand in a hundred-yard field. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? And yet, that's the reality of our universe. We are but a speck in the grand scheme of things. Now let's zoom in on that grain of sand. Can you guess where our home planet, Earth, would be? If we were to continue with our football field analogy, Earth would be so small that it would be practically impossible to see. It's like a tiny speck of dust, floating in an ocean of cosmic sand. And what about us, the humans, the supposed masters of this tiny speck of dust? Well, we would be so minuscule, so infinitesimally small, that we wouldn't even register. This comparison helps to bring a bit of perspective to the gargantuan scale of our universe. It's not meant to belittle our existence but rather to highlight the vastness of the cosmos. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? To think that we are just a tiny part of this immeasurable expanse. So next time you're standing in a football field try to imagine it. The field is the universe, the grain of sand is our solar system, and we are but microscopic entities within it. So when you think of the universe remember that football field and that tiny grain of sand. Numbers can give us a more precise understanding of the universe's size. Let's dive into the numbers that can help us grasp the sheer size of the universe. To begin with, our observable universe is approximately 93 billion light years in diameter. A light year, for those who are wondering, is the distance that light travels in a single year which is about 6 trillion miles. So imagine 93 billion of those distances lined up. That's the diameter of our observable universe. Now, let's talk about galaxies. A galaxy is a massive system of stars, dust and gas bound together by gravity. Our Milky Way galaxy for instance, is not even one of the largest out there. Yet it's estimated to contain between 200 billion to 400 billion stars. And remember, our Milky Way is just one among an estimated 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. But hold on to your hats folks because the numbers don't stop there. Each of these galaxies contains a mind-blowing number of stars. On average, a galaxy contains about a hundred billion stars. Now multiply that by the number of galaxies we just mentioned. 
that's a lot of stars, isn't it? And, let's not forget about planets, each star in a galaxy could have at least one planet orbiting it. So the number of potentially habitable planets in our universe is simply astronomical. Each of these numbers we've discussed today is difficult to comprehend on its own, but when taken together they give us a more accurate picture of the vastness of our universe. But remember, these numbers apply only to the observable universe. There's a good chance that the universe extends far beyond what we can see, filled with galaxies, stars, and planets that we can't even begin to quantify. These numbers are mind-boggling, aren't they? How long would it take to travel across the universe? Now that's a question to ponder. To help us grapple with the sheer magnitude of the universe, let's consider it in terms of human travel. For a start, let's look at the speed of light, the fastest speed known to us. It's mind-bogglingly fast, clocking in at about 186,000 miles per second. That's fast enough to circle the Earth more than seven times in just one second. But even at this incredible speed, the universe's vastness is truly humbling. Let's take the nearest star to us, Proxima Centauri, as an example. If we could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us around 4.22 years to reach it. Yes, you heard that right. Over four years at the speed of light just to reach our closest neighboring star. But hold on, let's not stop there. If we were to set our sights even further to the Andromeda galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, the journey becomes almost inconceivable. At the speed of light it would take us an astonishing 2.5 million years to reach Andromeda. That's longer than the entire span of human history. So what if we tried to cross the whole universe? Well, scientists estimate that the observable universe is about 93 billion light years in diameter. So even if we could maintain the speed of light it would take us, brace yourselves, 93 billion years to cross from one end of the observable universe to the other. These numbers are almost impossible to comprehend. They remind us of how small we are in the grand scheme of things and yet, they also inspire awe and wonder at the vastness that lies beyond our planet. Now imagine just how long it would take to traverse the whole universe. To sum it all up, the universe is unimaginably vast. It's a concept that's hard to wrap our heads around because it's simply beyond our human comprehension. We've journeyed together through comparisons, numbers and even imagined ourselves traveling through the cosmos, yet here we are, still awestruck by the magnitude of the universe. Think about it, we've compared the universe to familiar objects, from a grain of sand to our very own planet. But even the largest thing we can think of, the Earth, is but a tiny speck in the grand scheme of things. It's like trying to compare a single drop of water to the entirety of the world's oceans. We've also tried to quantify the universe's size and numbers. We've talked about the billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars spread out over billions of light years. But these numbers are so large they become almost meaningless. They're just figures, abstract concepts that our minds struggle to visualize. And let's not forget our imaginary journey. We've envisioned ourselves hurtling through the universe at the speed of light, a speed so fast it's almost impossible to fathom. And yet, even at that unimaginable speed, it would still take us billions upon billions of years to cross the universe. That's how enormous it is. In the end, no matter how hard we try, we can never truly comprehend the enormity of the universe. It's like trying to understand the concept of infinity. Our minds are just not built for it. But that doesn't mean we can't appreciate the vastness of the cosmos. It doesn't mean we can't marvel at the beauty and wonder of it all. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're staring into an almost infinite expanse that's constantly growing. It's a humbling thought, isn't it?